<laughs> we are not back with another video. Uh, let's let's jump into this one. Let's do it. Let's let's get into it. Um, so this one, the first thing you're going to have to do is there's two classes that you have to make, and I'll show you where I put them. Basically, where I put them, where I put them was under the physics. So I think the was it the, the physics material with tags is, is what we're going to be modifying anyways. So I just figured I'd, I'd throw these in here to go along with it. And it's this armor physics override component, uh, the H and the CPP file. Uh, so you can see in the H, we're just, we're declaring, we've got the class and then uh, we're declaring the function here. And then I think we need um, a skeleton variable that we're going to be grabbing. And then in the CPP file, I'll show you the includes real quick. It's, it's not much. I'm going to have these up on the, the, the GitHub anyways, so you can download those, take a look at those. Um, and we just have a, a begin play. Um, we're going to get the owner. And then we are going to jump into the function. Um, here, we're just checking to see um, the bone. And then we're going to set the new material override. I'll show you exactly how the function works in the, uh, the editor. So one of the first things that I found is this PA mannequin. This is your, what is this called? This is your uh, physics physics asset. Yeah, physics asset. <laughs> Anyways, uh, these are the bones that you want. So I played around with it. I kind of added other bones and did other things and it just, it wasn't working. So I was like, oh, I'll just do a, a component and I'll show you where to attach it. But uh, I tried adding other things here and it just, it wasn't working. But this is what we're going to be messing with, this physics material override. And notice um, that actually should be, I think, weak spot uh, is what it should be. But um, as of right now, we just have a player. Oh, no, it is weak spot. Yeah, so it's just it's on the editor. You don't see it as well. So uh, this is what we'll be changing. And then what you want to do is, and this I'll show you where this one is. Uh, this is under your content, characters, heroes, mannequins, and rig. That's what this is. You actually don't have to modify it. Like I said, I was modifying it and then kind of deleted everything that I did. This is what we want to create. So this is a new physics material. Sorry, physical material, not physics material. It's a physical material. Uh, basically, what I just did is I grabbed this one, the player. Maybe it's a weak spot. I don't remember. Either one, just copy it. Rename it armor. And then this tag is what you want to change. You want to do a gameplay zone armor. You can actually do sub tags, helmet, and vest. I'll show you why I did that and kind of why I haven't implemented that yet. But once you have this, you're going to go into your B weapon instance pistol. And that's going to be under your plugins, shooter for content, weapons, pistol. You actually want to do this for every weapon that you have in the game. I guess technically you could kind of modify the uh, the base uh, was it class defaults um, and then add them uh, what is it which one uh, it is the material damage multiplier I think that's going to be uh, there's an element that you have to add I don't know you can look for it I, I was looking at it. it's in here uh, but just go ahead and the reason why I'm doing it this way is maybe you want a rifle to be able to take out armor, but a pistol not. So you can have more fine tuning if you do it through the actual weapon, but just know that you have to add it to everyone. So uh, I didn't change the armor to zero because if you do, there's no hit reaction. In fact, let me go ahead and show that to you. So that's why that's not not zero. So I did change that to 0 0.001. Gives you the same effect. You're not causing any damage. Uh, get rid of that. It's just a, a widget that's giving me an issue. I'll have to fix that later, but um, not related to this video at all. So, but gameplay, zone, armor, this tag, just multiply it by 0 0 0.001. Uh, basically brings down the damage to zero, but still gives you a hit reaction. Uh, notice I didn't have the blood splatter. That's something that I'm going to be editing, fixing, doing later, but this is just to show you how to do the actual uh, armor. So once you have this all saved, uh, this is where you're actually going to implement it, right? So you could always, if you have some sort of character creation screen, 
Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So whenever you have your character creation screen where, let's say you add a, a helmet, right, to armor, then what you're just going to do is you're going to cast to this B hero shooter mannequin, which I know casting <laughs> sensitive issue, I guess, but um, I'm not so scared of casting anymore. So just cast to here and then call this function. Um, how you're going to get this function is you're just going to add um, a component you're going to add and then what is it the uh, armor physics override I've already added it here but you'll add that there I don't think I have any variables I guess you could because then you could set this as um, whichever one no sorry the this new physics material. So this is, I'm setting it to armor. Um, you unequip the helmet, just set this back to either weak spot or I guess the regular, the default one. Um, and then you want the bone. So right, that's why I had to show you this one is I have to show you where to add it. If you wanna add body armor, just add it to spine 05, right? So that will kind of give you body armor. Maybe you want some bigger body armor. You can even give them shoulder pads, whatever. But basically you can go through and add armor to any of the the bones here so those are sorry back in here just make sure that you call the bone and then you add the armor instance uh, the last thing is kind of how i found all of this is i was doing the uh i think what the blood splatter one of my earlier videos um and i was like i know there's a value at weak spot and so i was driving myself crazy trying to find all of this and i realized all this is for is the the number pop and then the sound so um the reason why I had those sub tags, which I mentioned, right? So you can go in here and you can add a sub tag for the helmet or the vest is that way in here. Uh, what you can do is depending on, you can add like evaluate armor, right? Or evaluate helmet armor or body armor, whatever you want. Uh, and then you can play different sound cues. I don't have a sound cue that I'm using yet or that I like yet. I haven't gotten that far, but this is where you would add that. So, and then the last thing, no, nope, that was where I was, remember I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know where it is, but. Anyways, that's it. That's really all you have to do. It's it's pretty short, pretty simple. Uh, this video should be pretty quick. This is hopefully one of my quicker ones. I know I'm always like, well, this will be a fast video, and then they're 30 minutes long. So sorry about that, but um, that should be it. So if you guys have, I guess, any questions on that, um, want to see anything else in the future, there's, uh, again, still tons and tons of stuff that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm trying to get to kind of like a demo spot. Um, just because I'm super excited to get to kind of the, I don't want to say like the narrative of the game, but uh, getting into the AI and, and a lot of that other stuff. I did, you know, shortly previously showed you the, the whole city sample when I get the day and night cycles and really working on, on all of that stuff, game modes, all of that stuff is coming. So I uh, just got to get kind of the main components out of the way. But yeah, that should be it for this video. Super quick one. And then uh, stay tuned because I've got a ton more coming. All right, take it easy. See you later. Sorry, like, subscribe, all of those <laughs> things. I'll, I'll see you guys later.